Nasser El Sambadi versus Big Rami. Both at their uh, Nasser at his best versus Rami at this Olympia. Who wins? Rami. Yeah. yeah and, I think and, so. and better yeah, back. I mean, yeah. I was gonna say like he takes him from the back. Nasser was good from the side too. Um, mm. you, you know, and, and again, phenomenal. You know, abs and stuff. You got a tight midsection. You know, good quads, obviously. Um, but I think from the back and everything, like it's a different shaped back, which gives Rami a completely different illusion than Nasser mm. had. What would, what would Nasser, if he was alive, what would he think of Rami? I th he'd like him, obviously, because he's you think Egyptian. He would? Yeah. What do you always yeah. feel threatened by him? I don't know, because he's Egyptian, so I don't know. Like, <laughs> I think he would like him, but probably, I don't know, maybe he would. Maybe not, though, because Nasser was kind of territorial, so he yeah, may not, he thinking, may not yeah. like the fact that uh, he was from Egypt, maybe. He would also think he was, like, lower class because he was a <laughs> fisherman, right? And, and, he, and, and Nasser right. was, like, an intellectual, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's possible now that you say that. That's possible. He was. I know Nasser, Nasser was hated funny. Him. Yeah, I said. I mean, Nasser was funny because there was, you know, people that you would think like he would get along with, he wouldn't get along with, and other people you like. It was he was very like, you know, like there would be people that, like we'd be talking, and I, you know, just think he wouldn't get along with. He, he'd have nice things to say about, and like other yeah. people, you know. And then I mean, obviously, toward the end of his career, he became kind of, you know, uh, like right. angry toward, you know, toward everything, you know, a little bit and stuff. So he was, he was, you know. He he was pulling the trigger on everybody there towards the end. Right. Yeah, I know, I know. It's funny because Nasser hated me, but like to my faith, and we we did a lot of appearance together. To my faith, he would yeah. hang out with me and ask me millions of questions and pretend he was like my best friend. But I knew that there was this level of that he there was something I don't know I don't know if it was a jealousy thing because there really was nothing to be jealous yeah. about. But there was something maybe he didn't like the fact that people thought I was intelligent or something like that. I don't know. I mean, he he didn't go into detail about stuff. Yeah. He told me that he spent time with you one yeah. time, and then and then after that, he didn't like you. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. You know, I, like I, I, it, I, it was funny with Milo. She explained the whole thing to me. Like, right. I mean, he went into detail, <laughs> like why they kind of had this right. like little kind of right. tiff, you know. So Nasser, was, I was I would hang out with Nasser. Like if there, if I was like dating a girl, like Na I would go to the bathroom. Nasser would like try to give him his phone number <laughs> all the time, all the time, all the time. And, and the girls would always tell me, you know, right, and, and, right. I, and, and they like, and I didn't ever got mad because I thought NASA was like, it was like, I thought it was funny yeah. almost because he was so, you know, blatantly, you know, NASA about it, you know, but he, he, dude, he called me one time and he called me one time and, and he's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, oh, nothing. Getting ready to, I think, I think, I don't know. I think we, Kim was posing or something. Right. So we were just talking and stuff and I'm like, what are you doing? And, and then he's like, oh, I'm, I'm sitting here, um, talking to Melissa Coates and, uh, and I'm like, like yeah, Melissa. And I'm like, really? I go, where are you at? And he's like, oh, I'm upstairs. And I'm like, at home? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, where's your wife? She's downstairs. <laughs> okay. I go, she doesn't care. Well, I just tell her to stay downstairs. <laughs> I'm like, dude, you got the fucking life then, dude. The upstairs is off limits for everybody. <laughs> Me Milos, the told us Milos told a story and uh, that uh, Nasser invited him to dinner with his mother. The mother was uh, from, I think the father was Egyptian. The mother was from uh, from Serbia, too. Serbia, yeah, that's what I was thinking, maybe. And so he, you know, and, and so they're eating dinner, and, and Nasus leans over to Milos. He goes, Ask my mother if, uh, if one woman is enough for a man. Milos is like, But do it in Serbian, he said, you know. Milos is, well, I'm not going to ask your mother that. He's like, No, no, ask my mother. You know, he had that smirk on his face, yeah. Nasser. Eh. Uh, Milos, ask, ask my mother. Ask my mother. Nasa, I don't want to ask a mother. I feel the, the you know, I feel the right. very, uh, the, 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 not right, not right time right now. No, ask my mother. So Milos asks her in Serbian, and she goes, Oh, for my Nasa, no, he needs many women. <laughs> <laughs> no one woman is enough for Nasa. And so. That that's that's been asset. That was the mentality. That's hundred percent. I can tell you that was hundred <laughs> percent. 